surface area of cylinders and spheres. Now we're going to start by talking about the formula formula we use to calculate the surface area of a cylinder. So here's our cylinder shape and you'll notice we've got a few different items that are also cylindrical. Now there are actually two formulas on the side um, that you'll notice. One talks about the formula for an open cylinder and the other one is the formula for the surface area of a closed cylinder. Okay, So when we say open cylinder we're talking about these cylinders here. So the surface area for PVC pipe would be 2 pi RH. And an open cylinder just means it doesn't have like a lid or an end piece. So you can see um, PVC pipes, there's nothing at the end of the pipe and there's nothing at the beginning of the pipe. Next we have what's called a closed cylinder. So an aluminium can is a really good example because it, it has a lid and it has a base. So this one has a, for, has a formula that's very similar to that one. It still has the 2 pi RH part but it also has, you also add 2 pi r squared at the end. Now if you think about that, there's a really good reason for this. They're adding on two lots of pi r squared or two lots of the area of a circle. Because pi r squared is the area of the circle. Two lots of that. And the reason for that is because there are two circles on this can. So you've got to add on the area of those two circles. The next one there is no formula for. This one is a bit unique. It doesn't have a lid, this cylinder, but it has a base. So what we're going to do with that one is we're going to have the same start as the other two formulas, 2 pi rh, but it only has one circle. So instead of adding 2 pi r squared, we're just going to add pi r squared. 